What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Galactus here with the Platinum review for Stellar Blade. Before we begin, we will be discussing the entire trophy list of the game and you will probably see some endgame gameplay on your screen, so consider this your spoiler warning. With that out of the way, let's get started with the review. I will be breaking this review down into different parts, focusing on the performance, the story, the gameplay and also the Platinum difficulty of this game. And let's begin with performance. Performance of this game across the board is good. I did not run into any technical issues or frame drops or anything even when too many stuff uh, like a lot of stuff was going on screen and too many things were happening. Uh, the game was still running smoothly. I did not run into any issue that way. There were no controller lags or I mean input lags or controller problems or anything of that sort. So I would say performance across the board is good. The only issue I had with this game is in terms of the graphics I believe because some of the lightning around the character, the character models have different lighting on them and because of that like when you are watching a cutscene and they close up onto a face of a different character which is not Eve, Eve looks good but she is also not rendered perfectly. I would just say that they are not rendered perfectly and it is a bit distracting. You can see all their outlines and the lightning or the blur effect moving around when they are talking or around their face or around their eyes. Also lip syncing not as good as it should be but considering this is a first game from the developer who is a mobile game developer I would say they have done a pretty good job. Since this is a fast paced action game it is important that the game runs smoothly and it does like you don't have any problem even when a lot a lot a lot of things are going on on the screen at certain points and that I think is a commendable job. I mean even though they have been making this game only on the console I think we should commend the developers for it. And now before we move on to anything else let's talk about the most attractive part of the game which is of course our girl Eve and her assets. Yes if you guys don't already know even though this is a good combat heavy game with good gameplay and good mechanics this is in certain way a thirst trap game I would say and they have given physics to all the assets of all the female characters I mean those booties do jigger man they do you run you talk even in the cutscenes I mean sometimes I thought even when I would say Eve was even breathing or Lily or the other female character even if they were just breathing you can see that so yeah that's there if you want it or if you don't want it whether you are looking for something like that or not it is there so I just thought I'd let you guys know about that and now with that out of the way also I cannot stop thinking about that but yeah with that out of the way let's get into the next part which is the story I don't want to say much about the story and the settings of the game I don't want to spoil much stuff for you there the story is good, it's decent enough, it's, it does its job, it's not very deep, it has a post-apocalyptic world setup, so it has shades of near automata and something like that where humanity sort of ended and restarted and rebooted and how things have transpired because of that the way they have. That's it, but there are some twists and turns in the game, uh, in the story, but I was able to see them coming from a mile away, so if any surprises or anything the developers intended did not hit off for me as well as they might have wanted it to, they might for you. I was, uh, I am on my part a little bit mid on the story, but it's good, it's serviceable, it's nothing to write home about and it's nothing to cry about is all I can say. Now let's talk about the gameplay and let's start with the best part of the game which is the combat. It might sound surprising given the amount of sexy outfits combined with acid physics but yeah combat is the star of this game. Combat is good, fluid, there is depth in it, you can go and just ma ma go button mashy with it, you can mash some buttons and get your way and you can get into the nitty gritty of it where you can counter an enemy and then you can follow that up with a move once your skill tree grows you unlock your more skills you can counter that with a burst of moves and you know do some real damage to the enemies even when a group of enemies gang up on you you don't feel very weak or underpowered you think uh, like the game gives you the skills to deal with whatever opponents it throws at you whatever challenges it throws at you there are some ranged combat uh, areas as well where you are forced to use the gun or the drone uh, which you have and that is also decent i would say that i did not enjoy the fact that i was forced to use the drone through some sections 
but i would not say that it hindered my gameplay or my experience a lot i mean i did not love it but i definitely did not hate it apart from combat there are a lot of other things to do there is exploration eve can wall run she gets the double jump ability as well as you progress through the story you unlock these skills and that's good that makes traversal fun looking for uh, collectibles or searching for secrets around the world there are a couple of open world areas in the game but rest of the world like rest of the levels are mostly linear and once you cross them or go through them there is no point in coming back to them unless you're looking for trophies and because some areas are too linear some uh, tro- some requirements like some collectibles do become missable so you have to watch out for that but that is all i can say like there is an underwater section like uh, eve can swim underwater and because she is an android she does not have to breathe so you don't have to watch your breath meter go up and down whenever you are underwater you can explore as much as you want which is a neat touch and there are other stuff which are good the like uh, quality of life like uh, this game looks like it has kept up uh, it has kept up with the trends and not put uh, what do you say undue encumbrance on its players which i really like and appreciate so yeah that's all i can say about the gameplay now let's talk about the trophy list there are a lot of collectibles in this game most of the trophies are straightforward or uh, or uh, like uh, combat related or gameplay related you can you have to do a certain amount of parries there is also stealth in this game you can sneak up to enemies or if you are above an enemy you can jump up to them and then do a finisher the finishers in this game are really good really cool like some of the boss fights some of the like when you break an enemy's stance you can do like a finishing move on them called retribution which are good which are good animations and you when you do those retribution moves when you break the stances of the bosses or the mini bosses they are much cooler every boss has a finishing animation like eve always finishes off a boss in style she also has a devil trigger type mode called techy mode which is good which is cool it's neat it's fun it does its purpose i did not find myself using it too much i did not go very deep into it but it's good while it's there like it enhances all your skills you have a beta energy meter and you have a burst energy meter which you unlock later on burst energy takes a little longer to recharge but they are like highly damaging aoe attacks beta energy also are your normal skill which you can un- unleash at any time on the boss or an enemy and they recharge very quickly you can actually equip some perks and you can do certain things which will make your beta energy like you can actually have unlimited beta energy at certain point at a point in the game i believe i did like i was having a lot more beta energy than i needed to there is also a fishing mini game in this game which is okay it's decent like compared to other games it's very similar there's nothing great about fishing it is just calming and relaxing if you want to go to a good place and look at the scenery and enjoy the scenery and just you know take a break from the hectic combat and exploration that is going on around all the time so that's it that is all i think i will have to say about the game as for the platinum trophy pretty easy trophy but you cannot get all endings in one playthrough i mean you can but actually to get all endings in one playthrough you will have to do a lot of backtracking so i would highly advise against it it is better to do a 100% playthrough with all the collectibles that way you can unlock two endings by backing up your save right before the final boss or by like just killing if you kill the boss on the first try you can do it right away you don't even have to back up your save but just to be safe back up your save and apart from that everything else is straightforward lots of collectibles that you have to look for you can miss a few there are a lot of outfits there are a lot of cans there are fishing mini games you have to get all the fish almost all the fish so yeah you can miss a few this game i believe has around 700 or more collectibles maybe more i don't know maybe less maybe more but something around that area so yeah there are a lot of collectibles here but because the game is short there are not many open ended areas in this you can explore everything in uh, like a couple of hours like you can explore completely explore one zone in say 3 4 hours or something so yeah that is all i can say about the platinum trophy not too tough it is fun it is enjoyable the fact that you have to do a new game plus run for the final ending is a bit annoying but they added some new game plus trophies you have to get all skills you have to parry a certain amount of moves you have to dodge a certain amount of moves so yeah depending on your play style i think you will have fun with this platinum i don't think you are going to be very wowed 
with the platinum requirement because as i say it does force you to do another place where no trophy hunter likes that but apart from that decent game good effort for a first game the ending does suggest there is a sequel coming and it has me excited for it i would like to play this game again i would like to play as eve again so yeah i was not as wowed by the game as i was expecting to be but i was very pleasantly surprised and i was i left with a smile on my face is all i can say with that said let's do the scores i would like to give this game an 8 out of 10 i was not as wowed by this game as i wanted to but i did leave pleasantly surprised and with a smile with on my face the story could have been better the graphics and the character animations and the lightning models could have been better the mini games and other stuff collectibles could have been dealt in a like i would have want, i wanted the developers to be a bit creative with it i cannot say what i actually wanted but yeah it could have been better enemy variety yeah definitely enemy variety is an issue like i was having fun fighting all these enemies i was like because the combat of the game is so good but i was fighting the same type of grunts most of the time apart from the bosses and mini bosses which like some of the mini bosses are also repeated in this game that did not go well in my books so yeah but overall good game great game the game really escalates as it goes on like as you move to the next boss to the next boss it just keeps going bigger and bigger and bigger and the set pieces and everything are good they are really satisfying as for the platinum i would like to give it a 7 out of 10 I would say the platinum is good the platinum is fun if you do the game if you finish the game you would not have any excuse to not do the platinum apart from the fact if you miss some collectibles and did not get the 100% type ending then you will be stuck in a place where you might have to play the game twice uh, like two more times so three playthroughs not recommended so that is one issue apart from them too many collectibles most of them don't really serve a purpose don't give me any depth or anything about the world or the lore building or anything so yeah 7 out of 10 for the platinum 8 out of 10 for the game so there you have it ladies and gentlemen my platinum review for stellar blade i do hope you enjoy it please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you have not already and do share your feedback in the comment section i had to work really hard on this particular platinum review because of the amount of content i had and what to put and what not to put and i think i still miss something like i am not satisfied with this review as much as i should be but maybe you like it or maybe you can tell me what to what to do better in the in my next one so please keep your love and your feedback and your support coming and as always wherever you are whatever you are doing stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend galactus signing off